Hey Pyros, Valmir here at the Lead Fireworks and in today's video we are going to explore the worst 200 gram cakes you can buy. But stay tuned because at the end we got a bonus cake that we are going to show you what to look for in a quality 200 gram cake. So let's get to it. So you have stopped by your local fireworks shop and you are exploring the 200 gram selection and of course sometimes you might have decision fatigue because after all you might get a lot of varieties. Now if you were to come to Elite Fireworks right now, sadly, as far as like Elite of New Hampshire, there's still some empty spots but hey, the reason for that, not that we don't have fireworks but as you guys do know, we love a lot of variety. However though, this video is very valid whether you shop at Elite Fireworks or anywhere else because often when you shop for fireworks, typically most fireworks stores do organize their setup or at least they're supposed to where you're gonna have all 200 gram cakes in one selection. Now, when the store is full here at the Lead Fireworks, you do know that you can definitely have a decision fatigue because as you guys do know, we love to have variety here. If you don't know much about fireworks and you look at this whole section, it can definitely get overwhelming. So how do you know that you are actually picking a horrible item? If you're seeing some items that I want to show, so something like this, like a magic barrage. And the fun thing about this, guys, all of these items, or at least three of the four items that I mentioned for you guys that are horrible choice are actually very generic. What I mean by that, for instance, something like the Magical Barrage. Now this is by Brothers Pyrotechnic. Now don't get me wrong, Brothers is a phenomenal brand. Every company, when they have some generic items, definitely those are, for the retail aspect, these are high ticket items. And what I mean by that, Typically, a generic item is made in such more volume that even for the actual retailer, they get these in a significantly better price. Again, same here at the Lead Fireworks. This is a generic item, so I'm not making any exception, but the problem that I don't like about this one is that, sure, it is 100 shots, price point, under $8, which does sound like a good price. And I mean, it is a good price. However, though, guys, the thing is, for what you're getting for your money, as an example, something like this will be significantly better, but of course that's not something, let's say if you don't shop at Elite, you're not gonna see that item. So stay away from these large Roman candle style cakes because honestly, they are just not worth it. Next two that I'm gonna mention is going to be, so they're all right here actually. So here at the Elite Fireworks, we do make it very easy for you to understand where the generic stuff are, but for instance, this is premium color pearl. Price point wise, here at the Lee, we sell this for $5.11, which is a great price. You know, sometimes you can find these cheaper, a little bit cheaper, sometimes a little bit more expensive, but generally they're around the $5 price range. Now, the problem that I have with this one, same thing, you are gonna get a lot of shots like the Magic Barrage, but the effects on these are just very disappointing. So again, this is something that I would stay away from because again, it's another generic item. Now, the last but not least generic item that I have on here is Garden in Spring from Brothers Pyrotechnics. I don't care what fireworks store you go, you are going to see an item with the name Garden in Spring, whether it's Brothers or not. You are gonna see some sort of color pearl and a magical barrage. These are standards in the industry, but you have to be careful because any of these items, for instance, if you see these items, $10 or more, you are definitely getting scammed because they are not supposed to be that expensive. So definitely stay off from any of these. Now what I wanna do is go ahead and show you Magical Barrage just so you can go ahead and see this. All right, moving on next, I do wanna show you premium color pearl as well. So you can see this from Window Fireworks. Last but not least, let's just go ahead and show you Garden in Spring.
Now, absolutely, Pulse Pounder deserves the crown for being the worst 200 gram cake in the market because the problem with it, where these three generic fireworks at a reputable fireworks store, they're not gonna sell these very expensive. But Pulse Pounder, because of the size of the cake, usually you're not gonna get this for five bucks or six dollars or seven dollars like the other ones. Typically you're looking at 17, 18, 20 dollars, 24 dollars, 25 dollars and so on on these, right? The problem with this one is that it just sucks. Like, of course, the first batch on this is that they actually did a great job on it, but then they water it down completely. So it's honestly, it's one of the worst cakes for your money. I would honestly pick a Magic Barrage over a Pulse Pounder just because knowing what they did. So the best way, obviously, if you're watching this video, you're very into fireworks and if there's quality where brands are not keeping the quality on the same item the same you need to stay away from such items a lot of brands do this where they'll put an amazing item but then they'll water it down after one season and to be honest with you that's just very disappointing but anyway guys let's just go ahead and see what i crowned the worst up to 200 gram cake All right, as a bonus, I do want to show you Poison Pogo. Now, this is by Elite Fireworks. Now, I'm not saying Elite Fireworks is the only brand that makes great quality fireworks because there's a lot of good brands, but you have to know what you're looking for. First of all, guys, this 200 gram cake, the build quality is great, but that's, that's not all you need for it. Obviously, some of the best up to 200 gram cakes are very compact. So that's something that I highly recommend. Friends and myself, I love all of the 200 gram cakes from Pyro Diablo, but typically they are very compact. Now, what I like about this thing also is that the tube size on them is one inch. So you're actually getting bigger shots than even some up to 500 gram cakes. So that's definitely a plus, but also guys, it's just an Overall, very nice balanced cake. I do want for you guys to go ahead and see this where you can compare a great up to 200 gram cake versus something that's just plain horrible. Anyway guys, let's just go ahead and see Poison Pogo in action. So there you have it guys. Of course, I still need to show you guys all of the six different Jinx Jester cakes because they're phenomenal. But anyway guys, thank you so much and we'll see you in another video right here on our channel. Bye bye.